So like, when, when we've got to this position, just kind of the explanation, some of the history and some of the, some of the, what we're doing, the mechanics, okay? So we've got classical spider guard, like where I can move like this, I'm on my hips, right? I'm sure you've seen that before, right? And I've also, of course, got lasso versions, whether I've got shallow or deep lasso back grabbing or hip grabbing versions, right? Combined with spider guard, combined with the X, combined with every guard with the ribs, right? But we're just talking like being in the general super basic concept of the spider guard here. When I'm in these floating positions, I'm, I'm, I have momentum on my side too to turn my opponent and possibly shoot triangles on the bottom. But he has, like, when he has connection to me, he has movability on myself as well too, okay? And so I have less sensitivity on his hips and my, my, my triangles are a little bit different. I also have a large amount of low lat row and, 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 and it's rear deltoid, dude. You know, you're just doing this the whole time, you know, and, and we're struggling. So uh, when we get up on our when we get up on our elbow like this, we take away that physical struggle, right? And notice how I'm on my elbow point. Come over here a little bit, amigo. Notice how I'm on my elbow point. Like, so if I drop my leg down, or if I wanted to get a little further away to do the foot tap inversion, like I can pull it back and then just rest. And I rest with them cocked off to the side like that, which is better than him resting like this, right? So I'll do one good little leg. Once I sit up, I'm pulling my elbow back and extending my leg when I first when I first go to that, right? And you'll notice the location of my elbow. Watch. And I locked him into a cocked shoulder position. You see what I'm saying? So he's a little bit turned already. This leg, when it comes off, let's talk about for the video, let's talk about what we did earlier, right? I prefer, for the guys on the video, I prefer to touch, if I can, with the bottom of my foot on his leg. Because if I'm here, he can get onto his foot, okay? I can still sweep him sometimes, but he can still get on his foot. Go back and run. Um, also, if I'm down here too low sometimes, he can go over, or he can nasty shin staple. That'll happen, that sucks too, right? Um, so like when I have the foot on, a, on the sole of my foot on his knee, I have more feel in it. So now I'm trying to step over it, Brock. Like I have more feel, I can, I can sweep it. You know, just, it's beautiful. So uh, that's why I prefer it. Doesn't mean I'm here. I do this a lot if I catch the momentum, don't get me wrong, right? I, I, I like this if I can. This is next. If you keep the foot on the hip, you always, and, and of course there's always the triangle shots, right? And then there's the triangle shots at the end. Like I like them right there so you can land in the triangles and arm bars on the sweeps. Um, that pretty much sums it up. Low your, your elbow back, load it up when you first get there mm -hmm. so that you're not constantly doing this with a bigger, stronger guy. And that's the reason that I favor being posted on my elbow I have hip control that's better than what I'm saying over double, double spider guard. Mm -hmm. Over, over this version where I'm on my hips, okay, or even even here. I, I would much rather be here. Okay, mm -hmm. in this particular game, my personal game of spider guard, I like this kind of guard. We'll get into that later, but I like fighting from here, going to single legs and elevating them and all that kind of stuff that I can do from inside there. That's a different game, but in terms of Double sleeve spider guard, post on the elbow, conserve your energy, you can shoot easier, you know? Like stuff like this will happen too. I'll be put on the biceps over here and Brock's like, oh, I'm standing up. It's like, okay, I didn't lose too much of my game here. You know, I still have triangles. I still have double feet on the hips classic stuff, right? I still have transitioning to Delahivo with a sleeve grip in my hand already. I can start to sit up or sweep already. You can pick your fights and avenue of approach and, and get off on it a little bit better in my opinion than if I'm here from the standing. Like especially in today's leg dragging, whirlwind passing, athletic kids at the whoosh, like you're just gonna be in a whirlwind of that, right? I would rather have these points of contact than I would uh, just these. Not to say there's nothing wrong with it, there is phenomenal spider guard players out there that I admire and that I, admit I will do some of their game. I'm just saying in a general concept, older gentlemen, younger athletic passing versions as well too, I would post on the elbow and try and keep one foot on the hip, one on the bicep, and play that way and then sweep when you could. Make sense? Yes, sir. Rocking off.